Hello, I'm Edward from Obsidian Control Systems. Uh, in this video, we're going to take a look at patching. Now, patching is the process of telling the console what lights you've actually got and how you want to control them. Uh, so I'm going to go and click the Onyx logo at the top and click the patch button. And that will take us to the Onyx patch screen. Um, in here, um, what we we'll be seeing in a moment is a big old list of fixtures uh, so this will by default show us all of the lights that have been added uh, and as we can see we've got a fresh show so there's nothing in here yet um down the left hand side though there's a few different tasks that we can start to go and do a little bit later um we've got the ability to clone or swap fixtures um, so swap would be replace one type of fixture with another uh, and clone would be essentially to um, duplicate uh, fixtures in the patch and clone all of their data. We've also got the RDM button. That's where we can go if we want the console to go and perform a discovery to see what RDM fixtures uh, that it can find. Uh, and you've also actually got the option there on the left hand side to import patch. Um, import is really useful if you're using capture with onyx uh, that's because if you've added all of your lights into capture um, you can actually then import that patch data um, from capture into onyx uh, using the import button um, but if you're just starting out and you've not got capture you're going to need to go and add in your lights manually um, so to do that, I'm going to go to the commands tab bottom left and I'm going to go and then say new fixture. Uh, and this will give us access to the uh, Onyx fixture library. There are thousands of lights already in the Onyx fixture library. Um, and we can go in here and start to search for the light that we need. So I'm going to go to search uh, and the light that I'm looking for is a fuse max spot. Uh, and there we go. We can find we found that light in the library. If your light is not in the library, don't worry. Um, you can actually make the fixtures yourself if you want to. So there is a fixture editor in uh, it, it, as part of Onyx. Um, or just drop us an email and we can actually make that fixture file for you and get it added to the next library update. Uh, equally, of course, always worth making uh, worth checking that you are indeed running the latest latest fixture library. Uh, fixture libraries are updated very, very regularly onto our website. So go on to there and you can download the latest uh, library um, so that you've got all of those latest fixtures and revisions. So once you've chosen the fixture that you want, you've then got the ability to choose the mode. The majority of fixtures, they can be controlled in different ways, depending on how many functions um, you want to be able to access from that fixture. So a prime example in this fixture here is there is a standard or extended. So do you want access to standard functions or do you want the ability to actually an ex uh, uh, to be able to access an extended set of features? Um, in the right hand menu here, you can actually see what you're getting with those modes. So you'll get a list of all of the control channels that these particular modes have. So that kind of helps you decide on what mode you might want to choose. Um, remember, of course, the larger the mode, the more DMX channels it will use up. Uh, and Depending on what Onyx system you're using, you will have a certain number of channels that you can patch. Uh, and that's because different Onyx systems allow you to patch onto a different number of universes. Uh, and you've got 512 channels in a universe. So you'll just need to bear that in mind, potentially, uh, if you're on a smaller Onyx system, you might need to bear in mind what mode you're using, uh, but just to make sure that you don't run out of channels. Uh, in my case, though, I'm going to go and choose CMY mode for this pick fixture, and I'm going to go and click the auto patch button. What that does, that takes us to our little uh, user interface here on screen where we can start to add these fixtures in. So first of all, I can give them a name. So I'm going to go and call these my spots. So I can type that into there. I can then go and say that I've actually got eight of these fixtures. So click on there and type in eight. And then we can start to set 
additional information. You'll notice that by default, this will be automatically populated with the next available values. So we haven't got any lights patched in yet. Therefore, fixture ID number one is the first one that's actually automatically populated. The fixture ID, though, that is a purely custom number. It's, a, it's an ID number that works for you to be able to quickly recall that light. Uh, and in my case here, I'm actually going to set my start ID to be 101. So I've got eight of these fixtures starting at 101. Uh, and you know what? In my case, actually, the universe and address can stay at one. So they're going to be patched on to DMX universe one address one. That is absolutely fine. So once I've populated this data, I can click apply to patch. And at the top, the console will give you a little progress bar whilst it processes those fixtures and adds them into our patch. And there we go. We can see that we've added those lights into our patch. And on the right hand side, we start to see some different filters now appearing. So we'll be, we'll, we'll be given a filter button for each different fixture type that we've got patched in. And again, at the bottom, you'll also get some different filters because you'll actually be able to have the ability to filter between patched fixtures, so fixtures that have been given a DMX address, and non-patched fixtures. So fixtures that have not uh, yet been given an address or maybe their address has been removed. So that's how we can very quickly get fixtures patched in using the patch uh, wizard, the auto patch wizard, which is what we used there. Um, in the next video, we'll take a look at actually patching fixtures, but using the command line instead.